Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Steins Gate Episode 2 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. That's actually not true. Like, in fact, it's exactly the opposite. With string theory, like, there's a bunch of cosmic strings that then they're all infinite or in loops, and when two of these strings are in parallel next to each other, they actually bend space time, making, in theory, time travel possible. まず that is the basis for the like infinite uh, parallel universes theory, and there's a good amount of physicists who certainly believe in this. These infinite parallel universes are created every day, all the time, with each decision that you and I make. Let's just say, for example, you were walking down the street one day and you chose to walk on the right side of the sidewalk instead of the left. In a parallel universe, there's a, another part of you that actually walked on the opposite side of the sidewalk. And with every choice you make, every decision that you take, like in every action that you you know you do, there's another parallel universe in which the same version of you at that moment made an opposite decision. So these very small decisions cultivated over a long period of time will create an infinite number of parallel universes. Because even in the other universes where you made an opposite decision of the one you made here, those decisions have their own consequences in that universe, which means there's no, another infinite number that branch from there as there are from the current one that we're in right now. And that's kind of how they say time is not necessarily linear. And that was the proof that, you know, people kind of... A lot of people do believe in it. I'm really not sure and I, I'm not quite certain how you can even prove it. I'm not about to explain what just happened there because I don't have the slightest clue. But what I will tell you is if you just take a banana and you put it in the microwave, it'll actually ripen the banana. And if you just continuously leave it in there, then you'll get a black banana peel with a big pile of goo. And yeah, I was just really bored one day and 10 years old and just put stuff in the microwave and that's how I figured that one out. Who is John Titor and why did they bring him up? Like, now there's a new character involved and I have no idea what role they play in this story and to... Look, I, I'm not even sure I know what's going on with Ocarine or what's, what's even happening in general. I don't think episode 2 actually clarified any of my confusion from episode 1. I mean, if anything, I actually have more questions than answers. For those of you who have seen Steingate, like, fully, let me know when this starts to actually make sense because I'm, I'm pretty lost right now. I'm not sure where any of this is going but if you want to see more steins gate just let me know in the comments down below and if you wanted me to watch any other movie tv show or anime i'll get to that as soon as i can thank you guys so much for watching stay fresh and stay golden